Welcome to the first episode of Eric DeLost Movie Reviews. This week I reviewed the movie The Big Year with Owen Wilson, Jack Black, and Steve Martin. The movie is directed by David Frankel, who also directed The Devil Wears Prada and Marley and Me. Now it's a lot like those movies in that it's not an all-out raucous comedy like you might expect from the actor Jack Black. It deals a lot more with relationships and growing as a person while these people experience their big year. Now the big year is a contest uh, where birders go all around the United States attempting to hear and see as many birds as they possibly can. This is a pretty original premise and I've personally never seen a movie that dealt with birders before so it had some interesting things in it and I, I feel like I learned some things. Um, the comedy was lacking a little bit and it could have used some more of that but I think that that's really the style of, of David Frankel so you can you can come to expect that from his films. Um, the the cinematography in the movie was absolutely amazing. They they did a great job of showing you all different parts of the United States, including the island of Attu in Alaska, which was just awesome. So as far as that goes, it was a really good movie. I wouldn't say that you need to go see it in the theater. Um, this is probably going to be something that you'll want to watch when it comes out on DVD or when it, you know, comes up on HBO or Showtime or something like that. Uh, you, you definitely don't need to go out and, and spend the prices of a of, of the major theaters in order to see this movie. You're not missing anything uh, for a while, but you definitely might want to check it out once it once it comes out onto television or DVD. So yeah. Speaking of DVD, uh, this week we had a DVD release of Horrible Bosses. Yeah, Horrible Bosses uh, is, of course, about Horrible Bosses. I, I wasn't a huge fan of this movie, but I will say that you might want to go rent it to check out Jennifer Aniston's performance. Um, it's, it's completely unbelievable for Jennifer Aniston, and I was kind of blown away. Um, it was my favorite part of the movie, so I would definitely try to check that out. Next week, I'll be reviewing Martha Marcy May Marlene. It stars the younger Olsen sister, and it's been receiving all sorts of awards from the Sundance Film Festival and other small festivals. So it's supposed to be released, so I'm going to go check it out and tell you what I think.